welcome back. Tonight, you and I will be on the dairy farm and we'll be on the arable farm shooting things like this. Only I'm not going to shoot him because I'll just break his nose. This one, however, break his head. These shots are from, I believe, March, April time, maybe some from February. Just like the previous video, I had a few of them that I didn't put into a video. So here they are. The farmer's been feeding the cattle well over the winter and these little germ bags have been getting in on the action. So I'm seeing them around the floor, I'm seeing them up in the rafters, I'm seeing them around the tops of the walls. Let's have a little look around and see what we can find. Finding them hiding in the undergrowth and behind the barns where the, uh, the weeds and everything are grown. Not really keen on these shots because you can't really see much, but I can't not shoot them for that reason. So they get a pellet just like the rest of them. Just hang back, make sure I can see. Looks like he's kicking there. He's a goner. I can't get him unfortunately, but I can't collect them all as much as you try to. This one's hiding at the back of one of the cattle barns. So he can have this. Hear him tumbling down the metal work as he falls to the ground. Just opposite the farmer's house, in this little shed. They're nesting in there as well. It's always nice to get them from around that area because that's where the farmer said he's seen quite a few of them. So when you can tell him that you've cleared them up from where he's seen them, he's buzzing. Just keep an eye on him. Thought I got a good clean headshot, but I can't quite see because I tire. So I'll chuck a second one down. I know the hit. He's not going to come back from that. They literally get everywhere. This is in one of the tool barns where the machinery is kept. Not even any food in there, but I reckon they're nesting there. Then they make the bee line or the rat line or the rat run out to where the feed is. And then the head straight back again. It's nice to be able to get them when they come out the nest, to be honest. You generally have to get a good shot on them then, because they end up back in the nest injured. It sort of quietens things down, and you don't really get many rats coming back out that nest. Just a little bit of patience, and just hang them back, see if I can get a better shot. And it paid off. Straight down headshot. Just blitzed his brains there. I love a hectic rat shoot, but it doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes there's a lot of waiting around and hunting them out. And the thermal is absolutely beautiful for that job. I'd never have spotted him without thermal. But I did. And I put a hole in him. And as Jacinda Ardern would say, he's dead. Coming in from the fields and they're coming onto the farmyards. They kind of come to the front, wait for a while, have a sniff, have a listen. When I think it's safe, they'll come out. But luckily, got a nice open space there to thread that 2 2 pallet straight through. Proper dead. After you've shot a few in one particular area, they tend to get a little bit wary. And this next one that you're going to see, he comes out from under the gate, just about to take the shot, but he's not going to wait around. He disappears very quickly. So what I do in this situation is I walk off, go somewhere else, focus on that area, and then I'll come back. Not entirely sure what happened here. Did I get him? Did I not? I wait, he creeps forward to that guy's head. Take the shot. Thought I got him. Maybe not. I think the pellets probably landed just in front of him. Um, but he's off, he's not waiting around. Let's have a look at that in slow mo. You can see the pellet coming in here. And I think it goes over the top of him. He's like, no, not today. And he pisses off. This one's not quite so lucky. It's getting brave. Stomach's getting the better of him. So I'll feed them some lead. You do often get brave ones that come out and sit out in the open and they're the best because they're so easy to pick off. Hiding in the metal works not going to do you any favours. You'll go just like the rest. I do double tap them sometimes because sometimes I'm not 100% certain if it's a clean kill. I don't want it lying there suffering. I'd rather put another pallet in and uh, 
spend the extra fraction of a penny just to make sure it's dead. As Pontypool Pest Control would say, don't be mean, kill them clean. I hate going in the cattle barns to get them out, because the cattle come along and start pulling on my pockets and biting my arse. So I'm in and out as quick as I can. Okay, you, me, arable farm. This is why it's important to clear everything up. This spilled grain is an absolute magnet for these things. It's amazing how far they can smell this stuff. Just gonna have a quick scan around because that door you see on the right hand side there leads out to that rocky area on, that you've seen on some previous videos and they come running in and they grab the grain and they're out again. They're all around the base of this machinery and what's nice is you can get them quite easily because they sit still. Oh, he's just got to check out his mate. Must have seen what happened there. That's what happened. He got shot and he's proper dead. Quite a big chap as well. When I lay my foot long against him, <laughs> my boot, he's about a size 11. Quite a big fella. One more out of the breeding stock, eh? Look, look, this is the rocks I was telling you about, which were just through that door that you spotted on the left hand side. Back down on the ground, we've got some pleasant feeders that are all stacked up out of the way. Only sort of 10, 11 yards. Look at this. Little sods are wandering in now, won't sit still. Not sure if they can smell me or if they're just plain, but there's no way they're standing still to be shot. So I go looking for them and there are some in the undergrowth. I love it in here, tucked away, but of course you can quite easily thread a pellet straight through that. They're actually a real pain to find after you've shot them in there because it's quite thick. And when it's cold, they cool quick as well. See, they're a bit hard to find on the thermal even. Shall I? Shall I not? Yes, of course I'm going to. Right between the eyes. Oh, another close shot coming up. Look at this. Not even nine yards. That's what I arranged previously. But look at this. Beautiful. Love them when they're this close. Because you can really see the damage when they go down. I've been shooting this arable farm for a good few years now. And every winter they come in their droves. They come down from the hills and the rocks at the back straight into the barns and help themselves to all the feed and all the grain. It's a commercial grain store so that grain goes into food and we don't want them anywhere near it. Sitting quietly but he's off to Ratty Heaven with his buddies as well. Well that powered him off. Absolutely nothing from him. Good clean shot. Another sneaky one in the undergrowth. 2-2 two, two, straight to the top of the head. Absolutely domed them. I right, stay focused on them for a moment just to make sure that they are actually dead. I can see the tail kicking there and he's collapsed in a heap at the bottom. He's a goner. You may be able to hide from the owls, but you can't hide from a the thermal and a the night vision scope. Stay still please. Now the zoom's up here for this shot, just to show you how far I'm zoomed in to explain the wobble. For those armchair hunters, I explained in a previous video. I'm trying to get as close to the target as I possibly can without spooking it. So therefore you have to zoom in. And when you zoom in, there's a certain amount of wobble. So think before you comment, because they'll just get deleted. At the back of one of the hoppers, we've got this one hiding. And I was so pleased with that shot. Straight through the centre of the head, into the brain box. Shut them down completely. Nothing else around. It goes quiet for a little while, so let's have a replay. You can see the mark in the middle of his head where the pellet impacts and sends him flying backwards. Smashed his brains up inside. Good clean headshot there. Well pleased with that. I like this one. Shoot him straight between the eyes. Crack straight to the head and he's out. Doesn't even know he's dead. Yet. 
But of course you get the tail tail, spinning tail, helicopter tail, and kicking with the legs. That shows you've had a nice clean headshot there. Yeah, happy with that. I'd say he's proper dead. I love these shots when you're having a stare off. <laughs> that always happens. Staring so hard, they don't see the Pella coming down the line at them. Shh, this one can hear something. The click of the trigger. For the final shot, we're going to head down to the bottom part of the yard, into the main barn, and we've got a rat on the drink here. He's drank an awful lot. He's going to have one hell of a leg. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching. <laughs>